Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on the latest transfer stories. We begin with Osman Dembele as Xavi Hernandez and Osman Dembele schedule meeting amid PSG uncertainty, dressing room not confident about his stay. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Abde El Zazuli as the Barca sensation does not roll out a move to Sevilla if he is forced to leave. We are also going to discuss on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Dembele's links with PSG have the offices in Barcelona stressed. The Frenchman's future has been a volatile topic for a while, but matters now seem to be headed our way. Very, very airy indeed. According to a shocking revelation from the reliable Gerard Romero, the sensations in Barcelona's camp in Dallas over the Frenchman's future are very uncertain. Xavi Hernandez is trying to stop his departure, which could turn out to be inevitable. The journalist goes on to add that a fraction of the board believes that Dembele will leave the club as early as tomorrow. A meeting has urgently been conveyed between the player and the manager. On the one hand, Dembele is enjoying life in Barcelona and even scored the team's opener in last night's Classico. The manager has openly spoken about his high regard for the player and even called him the best in the world in his position. Many feel that the player wants to stay and that PSG will not successfully activate the 50 million euros release clause on his contract. However, a call from the league on side unsurprisingly interests the French star as a potential homecoming. Dembele has not communicated anything with the club so far. However, the presence of his agent in Dallas raises tensions for the Parisian's institution. It's no stranger to triggering release clauses of Barca players. Aside, the dressing room is reportedly also not sure whether the 26-year-old wants to stay at the club. So the question now is, will history repeat itself? When Barca boasted of the world's best winger in Neymar Jr. some seven years ago, PSG swooped in with a massive offer of 222 million euros to sign the Brazilian star as their talisman. Six years later, the French club are back in pursuit of the Catalan's next big winger. This time, however, they will not need such a massive financial injection to make it possible. At this point, the ball is entirely in Dembele's park. Given his prominence under Xavi, however, a move away from the clubs after years of struggle would appear absurd. Of course, it's been the past few days has been all about Dembele and the links to PSG, which I think with time we see how possible it is for the player moving to the French capital. You know, and of course, it all boils down to the lucrative offer Dembele will receive from the Parisian outfit. Um, according to what we have been getting, it's going to be a five-year contract. A five-year contract. And honestly, this comes as a bomb, right? Because not many were expecting this. Um, it all started just this past week when PSG just came in with interest. And they are looking now so optimistic in getting Barca's winger. And that is the power of money. When you have money, you can do anything, right? PSG have always been financially stable, unlike Barcelona. And that is why whatever they want, they always believe they get. And of course, Xavi will be very, very devastated by this development. 
And of course, he held an urgent meeting with Dembele, according to this new report, to discuss one-on-one -on -one with a player. But I don't think that meeting is going to change something, right? Don't think if Dembele have made up his mind with Musa Sissoko, then I don't think there is something that this meeting will yield from that. Um, because reports have already made it clear that Dembele have already agreed that he will leave for PSG. And of course, definitely the dressing room will be very, very sad, disappointed, because as I said, not many expected this happening. It just happened like in a flash, right? PSG just came in. All this, we understand that because Dembele's contract stipulates that from August 1st, which is tomorrow, Tuesday, um, his release clause will double up to 100 million euros. And now it's 50, which is quite affordable by PSG. And more also for the fact that Dembele, according to the conditions of that clause in his contract, he will pocket half of that release clause of 50 million, which means Barca are going to just receive five, um, 25 million if PSG pay that 50 million. Barca just takes 25 and Dembele and his representative take the remaining 25. That's quite absurd. That's quite crazy. I've never seen such, but it is what it is. And that's why PSG are in a hurry to get this done before the August 1st tomorrow, before it doubles up to 100 million. So I think there's nothing Javi can do about it. Yes, he held a meeting with Dembele privately to see if things can be turned around, but the thing is too late. Then on to the next story of discussion. According to reports from MD, that is Mundo Deportivo, Abde Samad El Zazuli does not rule out a move to Real Betis in the ongoing summer transfer window. The young star's priority remains to make the most of the chances Xavi provides him. He dreams of playing for Barca next season, but the Andalusian outfit appears to him if he is forced to leave. Barca have sent out numerous players on loan to clubs across the globe in recent years. However, very few of them make the cuts and draw the administration's attention for a second time. Abde is one such prospect that of La Masia, who has the Catalan board buzzing with interest. In his one year stint at Osasuna, the 21 year old scored four goals and provided two assists while also establishing himself as one of the sport's best young dribblers. Barca have high hopes on the Moroccan and see him as a massive asset to Chavez's dynamics. Unfortunately, however, their economic situation forces them to reconsider Abde's situation. Barca are in dire need of player sales given their economic troubles. Ferran, Ansu, Rafinha, some of the players the administration see as sellable, but none of them has made the process easy. Ferran Torres is adamant about whining or winning a place under Xavi this season and refuses to leave under any, any circumstances. Meanwhile, Fati's market value is significantly lower than what Barca expected, whereas Rafinha's performance gave him a strong reason to stay. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.